नमस्कार आई एम डॉक्टर अमिता महाजन आई एम सीनियर कंसल्टेंट इन पीडियाट्रिक हेमेटोलॉजी एंड ऑनकोलॉजी एट इंद्रप्रस्थ अपोलो हॉस्पिटल्स न्यू डेली टूडे वी विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट थैलेसीमिया वॉट इज बीटा थैलेसीमिया बीटा थैलेसीमिया इज अ प्रॉब्लम ऑफ हीमोग्लोबिन दैट इज फेयरली कॉमन इन आर कंट्री इट इज एस्टिमेटेड that every year over 10000 new children are born with this blood problem what does thalassemia mean what well, it means essentially that though your hemoglobin is being produced at a high rate it is actually being destroyed in the body leading to a low hemoglobin babies who suffer from this condition will start requiring regular blood transfusion from about the age of 4 to 6 months What is the role of red blood cells or hemoglobin in the body? Red blood cells or hemoglobin play a fundamental role in our body. They are required to deliver oxygen to various parts of our body. So in a child with thalassemia because the hemoglobin is low delivery to various organ is compromised and unless we replace this with blood from outside with a transfusion they will not grow properly their liver and spleen increase they suffer many ill effects because of low hemoglobin because the oxygen delivery to various parts of the body is severely compromised what are the symptoms of beta thalassemia again as i mentioned most babies with thalassemia will present with low hemoglobin lethargy poor feeding poor weight gain usually in the first year of life we by the time of 4 to 6 months some patients with thalassemia have a milder form of thalassemia called as non transfusion dependent thalassemia and they may present later in life again with paleness increasing abdominal abdominal size disfigurement of the fa- face poor growth and other symptoms related to fatigability and low hemoglobin How does one get beta thalassemia? Beta thalassemia is a inherited disorder. Up to 3 to 4% of healthy people in our country carry the gene for beta thalassemia. These carriers are normal in themselves and most may never get detected also that they are carriers. But when two carriers marry, their progeny or baby has a 25% chance of having beta thalassemia disease or beta thalassemia major which makes the baby transfusion dependent from early in life so it is extremely vital that each of us should know whether we are a carrier of this gene or not it is most important for pregnant ladies so in very early pregnancy or even when they are planning a baby it would be very important that the mother knows whether she is a carrier of thalassemia or not if the pregnant lady is a carrier then her partner is tested if the partner is not a carrier it is not a problem if the partner is also a carrier then the unborn baby very early in pregnancy can be tested if the baby is affected that pregnancy we do recommend that it can be terminated so the baby is not born with a life threatening or life limiting disease what is the treatment for beta thalassemia so wo for those babies who do get born with this condition they will need regular transfusion from about the age of 4 to 6 months it is important that their hemoglobin is maintained as normal because we want these babies to lead a normal healthy lives for this it is very important that their hemoglobin is maintained above 9.5 to 10 g this may mean a transfusion every month to begin with and as they grow into older adolescents and adults they will need it two weekly as well each time we give blood transfusion we increase the iron in their body so from about the age of 1 to 2 years these patients will need additional treatment to get rid to get rid of this excess iron from their body otherwise the iron will lead to damage in multiple organs can we cure this of course we can but the only curative treatment available to us currently is bone marrow transplant this bone marrow transplant 
is done from another donor who is healthy and the best results currently are from fully matched donors within the family. The chance of a child having a fully matched donor within the family is about 25 to 30 percent. But we do now have access to registries where both from the Indian subcontinent and global registries we can often find a fully matched donor for these children. If transplant is strongly desired and there is no fully matched donor, we sometimes do consider half matched transplant from a family member, but the results of these may be or the complications may be slightly more than fully matched transplant. So, whether a child or a patient is a candidate for transplant needs to be discussed with the hematologist. But the results are the best if done early in life and the ideal time is 2 to 8 years of age. Their iron should be well controlled and they should not have any incurred any organ damage because of excess iron. So, even if you are contemplating transplant as a curative option, we it is very important that the child or the patient is maintained in good condition so that they can go undergo a successful transplant. Any complications that the patients can get from the treatment? Well, it is important that the blood is tested adequately so that they do not pick up any new uh, you know infections. The blood should be ideally NAT tested, it should be leukodepleted, so complications from blood transfusion are minimized. The medicines that we give to remove iron currently the ones that we use they are extremely safe and the hard side effects are hardly ever seen. Yet it is important that a hematologist follows you up regularly so that they can watch out for any possible infections or complications. Today we talked about beta thalassemia which despite being a preventable disease continues to be common in our country. I have tried to explain to you how to identify beta thalassemia and how to manage a patient appropriately. It is as hematologists our heartfelt desire that we work very actively towards prevention and for our patients who do have thalassemia, we can help them in leading a completely normal and fulfilling life. Also if any of you have any questions about thalassemia or would like to know more about that, please do con, you know consult with your hematologist. For the pregnant ladies, my humble request is please ensure that you have been tested for thalassemia carrier state and do discuss this with your obstetrician. Namaskar.